Sloths may look dumb, and gross, and smelly, but they are so much more than that. Sloths are whole ecosystems, allowing many plant and animal species to live in and on their fur. Just like a tree hosts many insects, birds and plants, you may find something surprising on your local neighborhood sloth, algae. Algae prefer to live in the water, but somehow they have managed to find their way onto a different habitat, the moist, thick fur of sloths. The first solid evidence of this symbiosis comes from a paper written by Emily Fountain and her associates in 2017, showing that algae species have become dependent on their sloth mothership to give them a home. In South America, over a possibly 35 million year history, the two-toed and three-toed sloths diverged, and their symbiotic algae species co-diverged with them. Evolutionary divergence happens when one species becomes two new species over time. Think a common ancestor of humans and apes diverging into our two species groups. The algae followed this divergence, co-diverging alongside the sloth species. The algae gets passed on from mother to child, latching onto the newborn. Cracks found in the hair of the baby three-toed sloth absorb water far more efficiently, promoting algal growth. As a result, the co-divergence between algae and sloth only occurred in the three-toed sloth. And just like how you pass nits onto your friends, the algae has been able to pass onto the two-toed sloth due to shared inhabitants of habitat. Now you may be wondering, why should I care about slimy, sleepy sloths? Well, one species has only around 80 individuals left, making it critically endangered. Conservation hasn't been very successful. We need to know how the sloth fits into its natural ecosystem, including everything from the sloth's interactions with other species to what it puts in its mouth. Another reason to care about sloths is that other species depend on them. The interaction between sloths, algae, and surprisingly at least six species of specialized moths is tightly interwoven. These moths fertilize the algae, benefiting the sloth because more algae growth means more food for the sloth. Yes, the sloths eat the algae out of their own fur. Once a week, sloths descend from the treetops to poo, which benefits the moths as it provides a delicious buffet for the moths' larvae. Essentially, if we lose the sloths, we risk using the unique species of moths and algae that evolved alongside them, and we risk losing this amazing, never-before-seen interaction.